Hi everyone, today in this video I would explain how you can get active Starlink service for less than 65 dollar per month with unlimited data. This video made for people who live in North America, this include Canada, United States of America, Mexico and down there to Panama, according to Starlink official continent distribution map. So if you live in United States for example or in any other country in North America, you can get active Starlink service with lower price less than $65 per month with unlimited data but before we start this video make sure that you have your time because there is a lot of important information before doing this method to your own device first you have to know that Starlink is officially available in United States and in most country in North America so you can get Starlink officially without any problem but you may pay a lot of money to get active service so if you are in United States for example and you are using residential service in United States of America, it's costing about $120. However, now you can get this service with price less than $65 per month with unlimited data. So I am going to explain how you can do this. So according to Starlink Continent Distribution Map, you will see that the entire North America is included within one region. So you can activate your device in any country located within North America by using the roaming service with lower price of course so what you are going to do is to order a new Starlink from Starlink website or any site you can trust or transfer your own device subscription to a country called Panama why I choose Panama I will explain this later so what you are going to do is to transfer your account to Panama but before transferring your device you have to know you may lose your residential subscription and you may, he cannot return back immediately so you have to wait two to three months before returning back so the question now what is the difference between the residential and what i am talking about the exact difference here that when you are subscribed for another country you may see a lower speed and high ping especially if you are using the device in congested area so you have to be sure of what you are doing here and you are doing this on your own risk and you have to know that you may lose residential service and you may cannot back immediately so now let's speak about the difference between residential and roaming subscription the roaming service is divided in two options we have global roaming and regional roaming with the global roaming it gives you freedom to use the starlink in any country in the world that even if it's not officially available but with the price starts from 175 dollar per month and goes up the second option is regional roaming here you can use your starlink within the continent only like north america or within africa or within asia for example so it's like this so if you want to lower your price you can choose any country in your continent i mean north america here in this video and i think the best here is panama it's offering regional service with price about 64 dollar per month so if you subscribe to this country you will get starlink immediately without any problem but as i told you before you may see a lower and high latency i mean lower speed and high latency because the service here is deeper it now how can you transfer your device it's very easy first if you are new to starlink and you don't have any device you have to place your order in starlink website or in amazon or in any other site you trust so if you are in america for example you can place your order and once you receive your device now you have to transfer the subscription to panama but you have to know that you cannot transfer the service immediately you need to wait at least 19 days or 120 days i mean 90 days if the device is activated or 120 days if the device never activated before so this is maybe an issue for you at first but no problem you can use your starlink as an american citizen with residential subscription and once you reach the requirement time you can transfer to panama now the way how to transfer your device it's very easy just go to starlink website then go to your account and here you will see your device click on manage you will find a transfer option down in the page so click on transfer now they will ask you about the email you want to transfer if you have an email not linked before to starlink account use this one if you don't have just create a new email and it's better to use a gmail from google because it's work very fine you have to keep in your mind that you are sure 
to enter the correct email don't mistake when you are writing your email to avoid any problem so after you transfer your device enter to your email and you will see there is an a new message ask you to activate your device simply skip this email and go to starlink website in starlink website you have to choose roaming option and here you have to enter the address you can take any address located in panama once you choose the address next it click into order now you will be directed to another page and here you will find an option ask you to enter the starlink kit number or serial number you may ask where i can find this kit number you can find it in the starlink box or uh, on the dish so once you enter the starlink kit number you can now place your order after entering the other requirement in the page including the card you are using now before clicking on to activate or place your order you have to make sure that your starlink is turned off and it's out of electricity and once you complete or finishing your transfer now you can turn on your starlink and you will receive the service immediately without any problem if you are asking why i choose panama well this is because it's the most cheaper country that i find in north america so if you see another country with lower price no problem just choose it but up to this moment i think panama is the lowest price now many of you asking what is the advantage between original and residential subscription well the residential one it's give you prioritized option i mean you will get the highest speed the company offer according to the network congestion but in regional subscription you are deprioritized so if you are in congested area you will get a high ping and lower price that's the only problem you may see if you are in congested area but if you are in area that it's empty places of course this is will be an agreed option for you the other option in regional subscription that you can cancel and activate your device at any time you want for example if you want to use the device in this month and then you don't in the next one it's very easy you can activate and disactivate in account page within the starlink website another thing that which is very important you have to know it if you subscribe to panama i mean if you change your account service to panama you may lose your country ip your ip address why this is because your starlink may change to panama ip address and it's become like you are citizen within panama using the internet from there so you are no longer using your country ip well some of you now asking is that can work well in the other part of the world where starlink is not officially available like in africa or in asia a lot of people are using this method to activate their service and it's working for more than one year right now without any problem so i hope this video was informative and if you want to ask anything just put that in comment and if you want to chat with me on whatsapp you can uh, join the channel good luck